I'm Emma Jane. I'm Dan Burnham. We've purchased Stonehaven since 2004. It's going on 12 years now. So a lot of our country is quite steep, which with rain events can tend to cause the topsoil to come off. So what we try to do to maintain that ground cover is to get timber or mulch hay and have it on those eroded areas just to try and get that ground cover back. Once that comes back on it, it seems to repair itself. We've been using logs where we can get there, where we can use machinery. Uh, other spots where we can't get machinery, we try to use high density stocking rates and just let the animals impact it, spread manure and weed all over it to get the moisture into the ground. The country was that hard when we first came here and we needed to soften it up so we use the yeoman plough and we go on the contours of the yeoman plough and space it out. So it's basically just trying to recreate the ground cover just to encourage that grass to come up and as it is on the contour it tends to, to block that runoff and regenerates. We're going into smaller paddocks from running up to 14 to 15 paddocks, we've gone to 40 to 50 paddocks. We're splitting up our paddocks on soil types so that can get the rest that the paddocks need. The rest period helps the healthy stuff to recover and, and develop further and it helps the areas that are eroded or maybe borderline to build themselves back up again. We have a lot of maps to tell us which are the most productive kind of soils and the least productive and we use the contours and, and try to fence on our soil types. Smartphones are brilliant. It's certainly a lot easier to, to maintain and monitor all the different sites now that we have a camera in our pockets. We're not doing anything hugely out of the ordinary. I don't consider us to be trailblazers. For me, it, it is really nice to drive around and see a paddock that's got good ground cover a good body of grass and try to have that body of grass all year round. You can't turn off cattle that you can't feed, so ground cover is our number one priority. And the other end it comes down to sustainability as well, you know, for the next generation. Like I'm a fifth generation farmer and I'm um, proud to be.